All right, this is something that I would love for you to do in your marketing. If you want to get more clients, to get more enrollments into your programs, into your courses. And the tactic is simple. It's to use authentic deadlines. I see a lot of you sell your, you know, announce your services, um, tell your network about your offerings, but you, you're not clear about when they should decide the deadline that, you know, your, your deal is going away or your, you know, to, to get a bonus or, or the course is starting, et cetera. And I want to, I want to emphasize the authentic deadlines part because I think a lot of us, um, understand that a lot of marketing is using fear of missing out FOMO or false scarcity uh, or other kinds of constraints that are pushy that pressure people unnecessarily and those of us watching this tend to be more heart-based sensitive and so we uh, naturally rebel against deadlines and using deadlines to pressure people in our marketing and I understand that uh, and I don't want you to pressure people um, but here's here's what I want you to consider there are deadlines in your life and in your business that are authentic that are natural that actually get you to take action and actually get you to grow personally it's a good thing. For example, uh, if I may, uh, well, I'll just use this example. I'll just, you know, understand. We have to pay the bills, right? The, the rent, the mortgage, the electricity bill, bill, et cetera. Okay, let's just, let's just take, um, you know, paying, uh, paying the, electric, the electric bill. Obviously, there's a deadline every month or every quarter or however often you pay the electricity bill. If you don't pay the electricity bill on that deadline, your electricity will get shut off. And you say, well, I can't believe they're pressuring me to pay the bill on the deadline. Well, you don't ask that silly question because you understand that if everyone doesn't pay their electricity bill, the electric company won't have the financial resources to keep the electric plants running. We don't pay the water bill. We don't have fil filtered water. We, you know, if we don't pay our bills on time, the companies that provide the service to us won't be able to sustain themselves and we won't have the service provided to us. We all understand that, right? Um, our own bodies have deadlines every day. If you don't eat, you know, every day or at least every couple of days, right? However long the human body can go without eating. If you don't eat on a deadline, you'll be dead, right? So let's not be so rebellious against deadlines and limits. Limits, right? Let's, let's be honest about this. Let's be, let's be real about this. Limits are how nature works. You know, there is a limit to every day. There is a limit to every season. There's a limit to this life. Now, if I may touch on the spiritual for just, just a moment, there's a reason we came in, you know, I believe that we came into these limited bodies from an eternal life, an eternal world of spirit where there were no deadlines and there is no limitation where you could just spend a thousand years learning one thing. But the, body, the spirit says, wait a second, that's a thousand years to learn one thing is, you know, I'd like to grow more. I'd like to grow faster, if that makes sense, or like to experience more things. So the spirit came into this body and says, let's give ourselves a bunch of deadlines. How long each day is, how long each season is, how long our bodies can go without eating, how long our bodies can go without being exposed to the elements. So what does that mean? That means your spirit wanted you to be pressured on these deadlines. Now, I say that with facetiously, but your spirit wanted you to say, no, you got to work in order to have food and shelter and, and electricity and all the creature comforts that you want. Your spirit wants you to work on a deadline. So for example, I show up here on, well, more or less on time, okay? Because I know some of you are expecting me to be here. I have a deadline. I didn't feel like showing up today, by the way. I've been fun playing video games. I've been, I didn't get, unfortunately, I've slept too late last night. It was unusual. I usually sleep 
I had a good time. But last night I didn't sleep uh, at a good time. So I was tired all morning. I didn't, I, I could have said, ah, the day is shot. I, I'm, I'm too tired today. I'm not going to make a video. I'm not going to finish writing my blog post. But you know what? Deadlines help us to grow. Do you agree with me on this? Or do you rebel against deadlines and restrictions and constraints and limits? I think in the new age world or in the spiritual, uh, spiritual people, heart-based people, we can go too far in rebelling against constraints. Oh, it's all about expansion and being living an expanded life, being expanded. It's all about opening the heart. Yes, and it's also just like the heart opens and contracts, opens and contracts. Rhythm. I care more about rhythm than about continual expansion. There is a rhythm. Open, contract, open, contracts. And so deadlines is the contract part of it. It's like, ah, contract, right? Contract, contract. We have a contract to grow in this life, to feed ourselves at the bottom level, and then to be able to grow in maturity in our relationships, in how we deal with life challenges, and in how we deal with our business which means back to marketing, you have to understand that you have to pay the bills on the deadline. And so you need to give deadlines to your customers, to your clients, to your audience. If your clients don't pay you on time, you know, you can't pay your bills, et cetera. If your audience doesn't sign up for your services on time, you can't have any clients and you will go out of business. So this is why I, I, I wanted to spend extra time to explain, to hopefully open your heart and open your mind to this idea that deadlines and contraction is good on a rhythm. Rhythm is so important for life and it's so important for your business. And so this is why I have a rhythm of offerings. I launch something every month. i make my launches very light and very doable. It's not a big deal. And so, um, and so in each of my launches, I have authentic deadlines. So let me ex give you some examples of authentic deadlines, right? So whenever I launch uh, my monthly course, I have two deadlines for you, right, to decide. One deadline is the pre-launch discount deadline to say, hey, the course is going to start in two weeks. I'd like to start the course in two weeks if I get enough sales, okay? And for those of you who want to buy the course and say yes to the course before I go through the trouble of creating more marketing for the course, creating the web page, start planning more of the content, all that stuff. Let me just give you a description of the course, just a, a basic description of the course and a link to, to pay me, okay? And if, if enough of you say, yes, uh, that sounds interesting enough, I'm in, okay? Then I go through the trouble of making a sales page, uh, planning more of the course content, and actually going forward with the launch. So the pre-launch discount is important for me I give you a deadline so, because I need a plan to say, should I keep going with the course or should I change topic completely? So the pre-launch deadline is, is important, is authentic because I make a decision at the end of the pre-launch period whether I'm going to launch the course or not. And so I need to give you a deadline to say, are you going to buy or not? If you're not going to buy, then if not enough people buy, I'm going to cancel the course. And universities do this all the time, right? If not enough people, students sign up for a course, they cancel the course. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but universities do this all the time. So that's the first deadline, authentic deadline that I provide whenever I launch my monthly course. The second deadline that's authentic is, hey, the course is starting. Ideally, you would start with us. You can buy the course anytime in the future, but if you start with us in a group, you get to participate in the live calls. The calls are all recorded, so you can join the course anytime in the future and just watch the recordings. But if you want to participate in the live calls, they're starting uh, you know, next week or whatever. And so if you want to join us then sign up. So you see authentic deadlines are basically deadlines that help your business stay in business. So it's authentic to you. I try to make my deadlines community based to say, Hey, should, should we go forward with this product? If there's enough sales, we'll go forward and plan the product, plan the service, do more of it. Another authentic deadline could be, Hey, um, it's the start of a year or hey, it's mid year. It's time to reflect on your year. So I'm going to provide this service for you. It's authentic to the audience to reflect on their year in the beginning or at the start of a quarter or the middle of the year or at the end of the year to close it off. So you see authentic deadlines can either be something that the audience is already thinking of. And so you provide that natural rhythm or it's authentic to your business to say, hey, listen, I need to decide whether to go forward with this or not. Or, hey, I need your help 
filling my client spots for this month. Now, as a marketing coach, it's a little bit more uh, embarrassing for me to say, hey, I need your help filling my client spots because you're like, hey, aren't you a marketing coach? Don't you know how to fill your client spots? But if you're not a marketing coach, you, if you're not a marketing expert, you should feel very, very comfortable asking your audience to help you fill your client spots. Because you're not a marketing expert. You're just trying to get your audience's help. You're, uh, come take your audience along with you to say, can you help me fill, my, fill enough client spots for the month or for the quarter or for the year? However, what's the, whatever the rhythm is you, that you fill your clients. Spots. So I hope that helps. My dog is reminding me that, uh, that he's back and it's a good for time for me to stop the video. So please, please, for, think about what deadlines in your, in your marketing, in your business are authentic to you and start using them on a consistent basis. My name is George Cow. I love talking about building businesses from a heart-based, authentic perspective, aligned with our spiritual values. And uh, if you have any questions for me that you'd love for me to cover in a future video, go ahead and comment below. Maybe I already have a video that I could share with you. Or maybe I have a course I would ask you to buy if it's like a very detailed answer. So either way, um, I want to take a look at my because I'm doing this as a Facebook Live right now. So I'm going to give you a chance to comment below if you are watching this replay later. And uh, while I'm waiting for you to comment, I'm going to take a look to see if I have any comments on this Facebook Live video, if anybody's joining me for this. Uh, I want to thank Patricia, Prem, and Carmel for joining me for this. And Prem, thank you so much for your comments. So with that, I'm going to let you go and start planning your authentic deadlines so that you can start using them all the time because otherwise you can't sustain your business if you don't give your audience reasonable, honest deadlines that are truly meaningful for you and or for them. So I hope this helps and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.